five. Four. Do it! Cross him! Do it! Hey, what's up guys? It's Arlen and I'm here with another commentary video and here today we are talking about Disney and Fortnite pulling ads due to a YouTuber called what uh, I think his name is Matt what it is um, or something like that. A former failed YouTuber um, making a I think about a 20 or 30 minute expose about a child pedophilia being facilitated in a loophole uh, part of YouTube it's a glitch in their algorithm or uh, maybe the algorithm isn't randomizing uh, YouTube content as much as it it usually does because um, the problem is once once you watch one of these um, disturbing videos with these bad comment sections it will take you to more of those type of videos but it won't mix up the content which I think it would be harder for pedophilia to be a big deal if they could somehow randomize the suggested videos it could break apart a lot of the communication but the problem is once you watch one of these videos it creates a rabbit hole that takes you to more of these type of videos and this is where this little feedback loophole in the algorithm of YouTube facilitates pedophilia and the ability for these monsters these disgusting human beings to communicate um, transfer numbers and things like that and that's how Matt got big you know that's how he started growing on YouTube before then he had a YouTube channel making questionable questionable content doing all kinds of messed up stuff uh, I mean even him he was out here talking to you know young teenage looking girls asking them to do an adult film with them but now he's on this crusade apparently to uh, help YouTube clean up the platform and get rid of this problem and it's called the YouTube wake up movement I think it's not I think he's um, what's my opinion my full opinion I'm here to give the facts and that's it this is early news this is my first like really video announcing that I had a news type series going on but my opinion is that okay I understand that this is a good thing in some way that he is exposing this but he's not exposing this at the expense of uh, something noble he's doing this at the expense of trying to get attention he's just doing this so he can get attention he was a failed youtuber they made questionable content and when things didn't go his way I honestly believe that he is now trying to ruin the platform that he could not be successful on and it, YouTube is a hard game it's not easy to make it here on YouTube a lot of people try and they fail um, a lot of people struggle to grow and when I I just call it like it is but you know it it's just so weird how this could really start the adpocalypse because he could have just emailed YouTube this problem just like uh, Keemstar from Drum Alert did as soon as this was a problem he contacted YouTube I have a contact at YouTube too if I would have saw it I would have said hey YouTube you need to crack down on this so it won't get, get blown up out of proportion but no, Matt goes out of his way to tell people to tag advertisers. He tags advertisers and says, look, look what YouTube's uh, allowed to happen on their platform. And uh, that that brings a dangerous president to uh, to the bottom line of all content creators, as long as even me. Like me, I don't do this full time yet, but one day I will. And this affects the bottom line the bottom dollar of all content creators and not just content creators either it affects like corporations a lot of corporations rely on you know YouTube revenue as a stream of income for them now you know it's you know or a form of advertise a place where they can advertise and you know be safe it affects them in the long run too they just need to understand that um, the algorithm it's impossible for YouTube to monitor this website it's it's just impossible to monitor the amount of content uploaded every minute you know like it's insane I think it's like 
400 400 hours of like video uploaded to the site every minute or something like that that that's that's an ungodly amount of content being uploaded to one of the most popular websites in the world where there's billions of users there's no way there's there's no way that they could possibly monitor that amount of content now they have an algorithm in place they have a protocol in place they have community guidelines in place to police their content think of YouTube as a city right YouTube is this, this city and you know you can't shut down the whole city just because you got a couple of bad people in it right you can't go shut down New York Manhattan because or you can't go shut down um, I don't know I live in Nashville Tennessee or you can't shut down Nashville because you got a few murderers you know there's five more murderers out of I don't know a million people that live there you can't shut it down just because of those five people now you can send police there send investigators to investigate crime scenes investigate incidents you know investigate the murders but you can't shut down the whole you know that's insane so that's basically the analogy I'm gonna use think of it as they have a protocol in place it's something they will always have to fight against. It's the same thing with like hackers. Think about it with, um, you know, the internet. There's always going to be ways that, inter that hackers find loopholes and code to invade someone's privacy, steal credit cards, whatever. But you have mega corporations or you have hackers that can fight against other hackers. Or whatever protocols in place to constantly fight that and combat that and prevent it from ever happening but it's a constant fight it's a constant struggle it's not something that will ever go away now Matt Watson also got huge media coverage from this which is why I think he made like several more like live streams he's just milking it at this point so let me go ahead and read you two stories one is from Epic Games and one is from Disney so we're gonna start with the Epic Games now I don't know why Fortnite would leave the YouTube platform when this is the platform that made them popular. I mean, they even have creator codes for content creators, which is insane. So I was going to sign up for a creator code, but I'm no longer going to do it. I don't want to make money from someone who doesn't really fully support the platform. They're willing to just pull ads out of the platform just because they're scared or um, think that YouTube's bad or whatever. I don't want to support a company that does that. They use YouTube, use and abuse YouTube as a platform and its popularity then to turn around and act like this just from a small thing that YouTube has already been, well it's not a small thing but a, a big deal that YouTube has been actively working on for the past couple of years I think that's pretty shady on their part um, Fortnite ads have been yanked from YouTube after they featured on videos that acted like a network for pedophiles all right and this article goes on to talk about what they're doing at the moment Epic Games paused pre-roll advertising on YouTube. The publisher of Fortnite suspended its pre-roll ads on YouTube after it was revealed that they were being featured on videos that acted like a network for pedophiles. YouTuber Matt Watson described a wormhole in which YouTube's algorithm was recommending videos of young girls. This is usually what most platforms do. Of course, they will uh, basically increase watch time by giving you more of the content you're already clicking on so I don't know what the hell Matt Watson's talking about the comment sections on these videos appear to be a meeting place for pedophiles who type down compromising moments and exchange contact details then again it's not at the expense of the creator hopefully not or the people uploading the videos these are just sick people time stamping moments of compromising images you know of young girls so um, we will give them credit where credit is due for that. Wired also investigated the videos and found that they had been monetized with advertising for Fortnite along with other major brands. So Common Sense will tell you no one's going to think that because a Fortnite ad is running on a video where pedophiles talk to each other. They're not going to think that that advertisement is has anything to do with that but that content should not be monetized nonetheless 
which makes sense. But no one is going to think that Fortnite ads have something to do with pedophiles. Like, that's not going to happen. That It's an automated system. YouTube just throws ads on any content being uploaded. And unfortunately, they their system isn't perfect. So you just have to flag the video so they know to demonetize that content. But it's not something they can get around. Uh, a YouTube spokesperson told Business Insider that the platform took immediate action on the videos. They've always taken immediate action. As soon as they see bad stuff, YouTube has a whole network of people who uh, flag content for the most part when they see it. This just wasn't seen yet. And I'm glad that Matt again brought this to uh, their attention. But trying to start another ad apocalypse is not the solution, trust me. The last one almost killed me, I know, because it was in January of 2008. It literally almost killed my channel, so I know a little bit about how this works. Epic Games, the publisher behind the wildly popular Battle Royale game, Fortnite suspended its pre-roll advertising on YouTube after its ads were being featured on suggestive videos of young girls. A video by YouTuber Matt Watson recently pointed out that YouTube's algorithm was prompting users down a wormhole of inappropriate content showing young girls. He said the algorithm continually directs users towards similar videos which is what every algorithm on every social network does. It takes you down a rabbit hole of what you're already clicking on. So of course within five clicks it would take him to more of that content because he clicked on it. So he's not lying here. I just think that he's making a big deal out of an algorithm thing that they could have just fixed. He just It's like sending the police there. You just need to send the police there and they take care of it. That's it. I feel like he's just doing this for attention at this point. Now in the wake of this controversy, uh, Disney, Nestle, and a couple of other brands have also pulled their advertising from YouTube. It doesn't look like it's going to be as bad as the past ad apocalypse, hopefully not. Maybe this is the beginning of it. Um, the last ad apocalypse we had was, of course, made by PewDiePie. We all know that uh, because of the video he made where uh, I think it was like deaf to all Jews in a video and everyone saw it and now like a lot of YouTubers are kind of skittish and scary of what to post next um, but this seems like Matt just deliberately did this just to ruin people um, so now we have these big brands pulling out again like I said I don't think it's gonna be as big as the last adpocalypse the last one we saw tons and tons and tons of brands pull. I mean, pretty much all the brands pulled out of YouTube and no one made no money. I remember it because in January, I think I made like $9. I made $9 in January. Now everyone knows cut the lights off in January. Everyone's good moths are like from like March and then all the way to December and then you should be good on money and then January it's just dead, okay? So everyone knows that part about YouTube but I mean I'm telling you it was bad there was literally no ads all the way up to probably April of that year when the ad apocalypse happened it was terrible the ad rates were horrible although predatory behavior has been an issue on YouTube for some time many of these new videos came to light thanks to Watson's video okay very true but like I said, it's not like something they haven't worked on for years on end. I feel like YouTube actually has probably been working on this since the beginning when their platform started. This, is a, this isn't just a problem on YouTube. This is a problem on every other social media or even gaming platforms. Even PlayStation Network has pedophiles on it. Anything with kids on it, using it as a communication device, is gonna have sick people trying to lure them trying to get them to do disgusting things this is just how it is these tech companies have and these gaming companies have pushed so hard to beat this even in real life you're gonna have people out here try to take kids I still get amber alerts on my phone this isn't like a problem that's just going to go away but as long as people are actively working on it and like I said, the good thing is that Watson is exposing it, that it can be policed and it can be prevented. 
but I'm just saying like there's n I hope that advertisers understand there is literally no way to get rid of this part problem entirely it's impossible and you know thanks to the verge you knew they were gonna be the first ones to hop on this story a YouTube spokesperson previously told The Verge, we took immediate action by deleting accounts and channels, reporting illegal activity to authorities and disabling volatile comments. Now this is a scary picture because if, like, if more avatars start to pull out, YouTube will get scared and then they will be forced to react quick. They won't have time to develop a new system. They won't have time to like try to fix stuff. They will react. And usually when YouTube reacts, they start deleting channels, they start disabling comments, they start banning people, they start terminating, banning certain things, like they, they change their guidelines, they make it harsher, they make it harder, they may uh, lift the ceiling even higher when it comes to um, being able to get monetized. I know you gotta, when I started YouTube, you didn't have to have a certain amount of views or anything to actually make money you could just start a channel and make money right away it's not the same anymore anyone who starts a channel now has to have a certain amount of views and a certain amount of subscribers when back then when I started that wasn't the case you didn't have to go through that as soon as you had views you had money okay things have definitely changed since the last apocalypse and uh, it's made it harder on people trying to grow in the platform like I said, there's other platforms that are still harder, like Twitch, uh, Facebook, Instagram. There's other platforms that are still like rough and hard. Twitter, all these, but YouTube's the only one where it's it is the easiest, but at the same time, it's getting it's getting rougher and rougher because of all the controversies surrounding the platform, um, and it's gotten extreme. I think any content including comments that endangers, endangers minors is I've heard and we have clear policies prohibiting this on YouTube that's true they have guidelines in place and like I said they have flaggers in place you can flag the content yourself so it's not something that it's like I said hasn't been like a big deal it is just something that uh, YouTube has to constantly like keep working on and actively working on it to prevent it even more um, I think I've got my point across. Like I said, Matt, he's not exactly a trustworthy person. I wouldn't, I, I don't know. I just feel like it's something fishy about this dude. He should not be allowed to even, I feel like they should just delete his channel. Like after this, clearly he was doing this to like garner bad attention against YouTube. It's not just, oh, I made a video to expose pedophiles. Yes, I'm glad he did that. He found pedophiles on YouTube. Yippee, they've been on YouTube for years. I just think he did this so he could get attention that he never deserved. And I'm not trying to say like, oh, he shouldn't have exposed this. Don't get me wrong. I, I'm glad he made this video. But the problem is he's a pedophile too. <laughs> That's the problem. That's the only problem I have with his video. He's trying to expose pedophiles, but he's a pedophile too. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for subscribing or liking my videos and my commentary videos. If you'd like me to make more early news videos, make sure you subscribe. And remember, I'm out. <laughs> Peace.